Greetings, my friends. It is a pleasure that I can step back and speak with you for a few minutes and share some thoughts and feelings with you. I am Carl, and you all are aware of who I was and who I am. It is with great joy that I am here today to kind of talk to you about the season on which you are celebrating and asking you to kind of do something that I used to do all the time. I used to have my foot in the physical world and the foot in the spiritual world. And while I know many of you cannot do that at this time, I would ask you to have your one foot in the traditional celebrations of your holidays and another one in a more spiritual understanding of your holidays that are coming up. For you can walk the path in both directions, in both time, places at the same time. You can participate with your friends and families the way they're used to celebrating the holiday and viewing the holiday. But you have a deeper and more key, a way, deeper appreciation of what the holiday is really all about and what should be celebrated. And I ask you too at this time to help bring light into the world, as we have talked about before, and gently to, to bring in a more enlightened perspective into your celebrations. You do not have to stand on a soapbox and preach that this is the way it is and you're doing it wrong, and this is the way it should be, from my understanding. But you can suddenly, subtly bring in a point or two to bring a more spiritual thought into the people that you celebrate with, to give them something to think about. It doesn't have to be jarring. You don't have to throw a boulder at them, but you can throw a few grains of sand to make them think. And if you think about it, sometimes those grains of sand, when they get in between your toes, can be a, quite a bit annoying. And if you annoyed someone enough to make them stop and think about it, and examine what they believe, that is the point of what I'm trying to communicate. Not to irritate people, but to kind of just plant a seed. It may grow, it may not grow. But in a sense, you are fulfilling a spiritual duty, a spiritual quest to bring more light into the world, and more understanding into the world. And again, it doesn't have to be an atom bomb. It can simply be a grain of sand. Walk these holidays in both worlds. Don't, you don't have to abandon everything. It's not black or white. There are many shades of gray. But incorporate your spiritual truths that you're learning into your ideas of the holidays and your celebrations of the holidays. And where it's appropriate, share just a bit or two. It will help to change people's ideas about the man Jesus. For he was a man who came to the world to teach and to educate. He did not come to start a religion. He did not come to become a god. He came to bring enlightenment to the world. And as was stated before, there were many people who came, tried to do this. But it is unfortunate that humanity has this need to deify things and to, to categorize things and create dogmas around the spiritual teachings and distort the spiritual teachings so that they no longer re are recognizable from what they were act what was actually taught. It is unfortunate that but it has been that way. And this is why from time to time the world of spirit has sent these ascended masters, these spiritual teachers, to the earth to try to correct the path of the way the humanity is traveling. And it really has not been as successful as we would hope. But the seeds are there. And for those of you who are here are recognizing the, the seeds that were planted by the great teacher Jesus. And you recognize those seeds. So incorporate them into your life and use them as best you can. And try to share them with, with your friends and your family the best that you can without creating enemies, because that's not the point of this at all. 
a spiritual path as everyone walks their own individual path at their own speed, at their own time, at their own journey. So you cannot launch someone on a path by doing, by just give, feeding them your truths. But you can plant small seeds, and you may be surprised that eventually it might bear very sweet fruit. So with that, I wish to extend my blessings to you for this holiday season. I wish you all the joy that the season can bring, and the peace that the joy that the season can bring. And although it is a grand wish that there be peace on earth, it is that wish will be fulfilled once everybody has peace within themselves. So at this holiday season, perhaps the focus should be on finding your inner peace and finding your inner joy and sharing that with the people around you. I leave you with my blessings and for the joy of the holiday season until we can meet again.